Hey everyone, in the next five minutes we are going to get set up with Next.js and Tailwind CSS. Let's get started by creating a directory. I'm going to call it Next with Tailwind. Move and CD into that directory. And now we're just going to run npm init. We're going to ignore it asking any questions. We're next going to install Next.js itself, React, and Zite's Next CSS plugin. Once this is installed, we're now going to install some dev dependencies. These dev dependencies will be Tailwind itself, Auto Prefixer, Post CSS and CSS Nano. This will make some sense in a sec. I'm going to go ahead and open this code inside of my code editor. And now inside of my code editor, I'm going to open up the package.json file. Inside of here, I'm going to edit the scripts and I'm going to add three new scripts. The dev script is simply going to run next. A build script, if you wish to deploy, is going to build the next output and next start. Now that I've done, I'm going to go ahead and create a next.config.js file. And it's inside of here where I'm going to configure uh, next.js to actually work with Zeit's with CSS plugin. You can find out more information about uh, Zeit's Next CSS plugin on their Next.js repo. They've got a list of other plugins for SAS and other things, but right now we only care about CSS. With this done, save the file and we'll close it out. We're now going to create another file and this is going to be our index.js page. I'm just going to paste in some defaults here. You'll see that I'm using some classes for Tailwind. So if you've not used Tailwind before, head on over to their documentation and uh, you should get an idea of what's going on here. But I'm just setting some color for the text uh, and some background and rounded border, uh, border radiuses and uh, shadow to a box. Next, inside of my uh, terminal, I'm actually just going to run this so I can open in my browser and see what this looks like. Of course, we haven't implemented Tailwind, so there will be nothing on the page except the text that you see before you. Now, inside of my terminal, I'm going to run the Tailwind init script, and that's just using Tailwind from my node modules directory. And that has just created a tailwind.js file in the root of the project. And this is the file that will contain all of your colors uh, and all of the settings to compile Tailwind. So you will want to go check that file out and customize it if you're using this in a real project. Next, we are going to set up the post CSS. And if you're using Next.js and you've used it before, post CSS, CSS is uh, already built in when you use the Zeit's Next CSS. It looks for this file and it can run it automatically. So there's not much configuration you need to do for this. All we need to do is define the plugins that we're going to be using. Uh, of course, we are using uh, the post CSS easy import, and we're going to also use Tailwind itself. And then we're going to use the auto prefixer last. Now with this done, what we should be able to do is head uh, and create a new file. And this is going to be our CSS file. This is, I just like to place this inside of a folder called styles. And I need to import the Tailwind helpers here. We've got preflight and utilities. There are some others that you should be aware of. Go check out the Tailwind documentation if you're not familiar with those. But all I'm doing now is declaring the body style. And I'm just using the apply directive to get access to the color for background and some padding. Now inside of my index.js file, I'm just going to import that CSS file. And then all that's left to do is I have to stop and restart my server. Now when we run the server again and we head on over to localhost 3000, we should see that Tailwind and Next.js are working together. 